students at Plymouth Canton High Schools were dismissed early after a threatening message was yeah. found at one of the schools. Uh, we've seen a run of this in the last couple of weeks. Uh, before being let out, both high schools were on what's known as a soft lockdown after initially discovering the threat. Police officials are stressing staff and students were safe. There was no immediate danger. Students in the high schools were let out around 11 a.m. Those in the middle and elementary schools not affected by the lockdown, and they, in fact, uh, did, were not let out early. Hamlet Temple on Detroit's west side was broken into this morning. It happened at the church on Wyoming near Schoolcraft around 4 a.m. Now you're seeing video from the scene while Detroit police conducted an investigation. It's not known how the suspects got inside or why they broke in. The investigation is ongoing. Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly has announced that once again he's going to have to undergo treatment for oral cancer. In a statement made earlier today, the former Buffalo Bills quarterback said to get through this, he is focusing on what he calls the four F's, faith, family, friends, and fans. Unfortunately, this isn't Kelly's first time getting this diagnosis. If you recall back in 2013 and again in 2014, he was diagnosed with oral cancer and was considered cancer-free after those treatments.